My name is John Reynolds. I'm running for New York City Council in District 11 in the Northwest Bronx. And tell me a bit about your background. Uh, I'm a um, uh, software engineer, IT uh, professional for uh, over three decades. Uh, I am a an peace and justice, peace and social justice activist for um, uh, five decades, uh, four and a half decades. Uh, I've been active in my community, which is uh, Riverdale, Kingsbridge, Norwood, and Northwest Bronx, uh, where I've lived for over, uh, over six decades. Uh, so um, that's a little bit about my back background. I'm a uh, Vietnam era war, uh, Vietnam era war uh, veteran. Uh, what motivated you to run for office? Well, I believe that uh, our city has a government that's worthy of uh, Wall Street and not of the uh, great mass of the people whose needs are not being met. And uh, we need uh, to institute radical reforms uh, to democratize, to bring grassroots democracy and uh, social and economic justice and environmental justice to our communities. And um, if elected, what would you what would you change? What would be at the top of your agenda? Well, before I, uh, even getting elected, well, I'll talk about that. But, uh, uh, right now, we have an immediate problem with our uh, uh, with the ballot and with our voter guides, which are unlawful and un unconstitutional and highly prejudicial. Thank you. Uh, highly prejudicial to our uh, our candidates and to all candidates who are running on third and fourth parties. As you see, the only parties that have a, uh, an unobstructed column are the first two, Democrat and Republican. All the other parties are cluttered together so you cannot even find anybody because they share columns. For example, the Green Party is on the sixth column, in the sixth column. Uh, in the past, we've always you know, had the columns lettered, so we would have been column F, F being the sixth letter of the alphabet. Uh, there is no column anything, there are no letters. Uh, so we have a map with no coordinates, so our candidates cannot be found. Uh, in the past, there was always a symbol for each party. There are no symbols, emblems they're called, required by election law. In gross violation of the law, they've omitted columns and emblems and have mixed parties and candidates together. Uh, so we are sending a very strong demand letter to the Board of Elections in the city of New York demanding that they uh, correct this ballot on an emergency basis. We also have a problem with the voter guide which has been sent to every, house, uh, every voter in the city of New York, supposedly. Thank you. And uh, thank you. So this is the voter guide goes to every, ha every voter in the city of New York courtesy of New York City Votes, which is the Campaign Finance Board, which, finan uh, which offers matching funds to certain candidates, but requires all candidates to file very uh, meticulous reports about all their uh, contributions and spending. Now, if you notice, in the, mayors, in the mayoral race, they have, uh, they have uh, the major candidate, so-called, and, and Anthony Renault, which is listed here, correctly as a green, but this gets confused by the fact that they have two candidates or three candidates who are not even on the ballot. Uh, Mr. Laurel Smith, Mr. McDonald, who was running in the Republican primary but is no longer on the ballot, and Mr. Katsimatidis, also a Republican who is no longer on the ballot, although they list him here. Uh, so apparently the Campaign Finance Board and the Board of Elections do not talk to each other and they're totally confusing the voters. Our own candidate, James Lane, who's running for public advocate, is listed here, but they mix this whole uh, public advocate race up by listing Letitia James and Daniel Squadron, who was eliminated in the runoff. So the, the people will not give great credence to a voter guide that cannot get its facts together and get coordinated with the Board of Elections. Uh, so, so these are issues. Thank you. So these are issues that we need to bring to the attention of the public, and to uh, demand correction from the Board of Elections and the Campaign Finance Board. 
Now you asked me what I would do if elected. Uh, well, there are, there are certain basic reforms that immediately come to mind about the city council itself before anything can get done there. Uh, we have a city council that is run in a dictatorial fashion by the uh, speaker of the council. Uh, the, the speaker is, is, is going to be, uh, the new speaker will be elected when the new council is um, taking office in January. Uh, the, uh, the way to democratize the council is to take away the dictatorial power of the speaker by uh, allowing, well first of all, by taking away the speaker's discretion in allocating uh, discretionary funds to the various members. Uh, each member should get an equal amount of discretionary funds to allocate. Furthermore, if I'm elected, I would use my discretionary f funding uh, to, uh, to, participate, to enroll in the participatory budgeting program, which would democratize the process of budgeting for community organization in my neighborhoods. Uh, meetings with the people in the neighborhoods, in our communities, could uh, have a direct say in, in how our budgets are allocated uh, uh, from the city council money that is, that is allocated. Uh, I'm running on, an, on, a, on a green eco-socialist program and platform, and that means I stand for uh, green infrastructure jobs for all New Yorkers. We have plenty of work that needs to be done on our uh, infrastructure and making a, a, uh, creating a green infrastructure. Uh, so uh, on, on, on education, I stand for a, a, an end to charter schools, no privatization of our schools, defense of uh, the rights of teachers and of all union, of all, all union workers. Uh, and we need community, and we need uh, schools that have real neighborhood, uh, uh, real neighborhood uh, control of, uh, of what goes on. You know, parents and, and students need to have uh, uh, some, some control of, of the schools uh, in their neighborhoods. Uh, the, um, uh, on the question, getting back to the, uh, the infrastructure, we need a public power, uh, uh, we need public power that's controlled and owned by the, the people of New York. That means other cities have done this. Uh, we need, uh, so inst instead of having Con Edison, we, we, we need a, uh, uh, an electric and gas utility that is publicly owned, democratically controlled, and where we will phase out our reliance on nuclear power and on fossil fuels, we'll divest from fossil fuels, phase out fossil fuels, and go over to a renewable energy economy in our city. Uh, because we can do that with a, uh, with a uh, we, can, we can start that process with a publicly owned power utility. Uh, so um, uh, uh, as, as far as the fact that many of our, uh, many of the people in our city go hungry, we need uh, to ensure that nobody in the city goes hungry. Uh, we need healthy food choices for all New Yorkers. And that goes hand in hand with health in general. And New York City could and should adopt a municipal, single payer, Medicare for all, improved Medicare for all, uh, health care system, health insurance system, and show the way to the state and to the federal government, uh, which needs leadership on this. Uh, we don't need a debate about uh, Obamacare. We need to move to true universal health care uh, for all, with no premiums, no deductibles, uh, and no exclusions. Uh, those are some of my main platform points. Okay, thank you.